Alrighty ho, so we've got another video for you. Um, so, it's been a little while, <clears throat> and throughout the uh, duration of this video we will explain why that's been. Um, so, to begin with, um, I've not been very well lately. Nothing bad. Don't go getting worried, you know. But I've not been too, too well. Um, so I recently went up to uh, Glasgow uh, for a few reasons, see some friends, um, you know, have a, you know, a nice D&D &D session, have a laugh and all, and, you know, see some other people and see some other family and all. Um, while I was up there, it seems I caught Morning, something. Ten, Be fine, but it's, it's part of the reason I've not really been on much lately. Um, so keep that in mind. And you'll be able to tell in my voice as well, I'm, I've not been particularly well, honestly. Um, but, so that's part of it. The other part, uh, as mentioned, I was in Glasgow for the past week, so that's the other side of things. Um, with this said though, uh, I'm back home now, and whilst I'm not better yet, I'm on the mend, though, so I will be, uh, I will be better. Um, it's just a case of how long this will take. I don't normally get ill, and so when I do get ill, it's normally like a, it lasts a while kind of thing. So it shouldn't last too long, and I won't let it get in the way of content creation anymore. I will still be live when I can. Or not when I can, but I will still be live uh, somewhat frequently. Um, or more frequently than the videos anyways, because in fairness, this is where most of the videos come from, is from good games I've had while streaming and it, what have you. Um, but with that said, I will be back up to uh, capacity, back up to schedule, you know, sooner, sooner or later, basically. So should be fine. But yeah, with that said, let's get into the game. So not a right lot has happened so far. The Bliska got spotted off to our right very momentarily. And I, I did pick up on this. I did actually notice this at the time. And so I kind of thought, right, I'm probably going to get spotted when I come around this island. Um, but he will probably be within radar range. So I think, well, we'll wait until we get spotted and then we'll radar. Um, this Bliska is about to have a very good game. Um, I'm sure he's enjoyed himself, so salvo one. Uh, this one wasn't very well aimed, to be fair. So we got like four hits, salvo two. We got eight, salvo three. We only used our front three guns for that. Uh, and thunk, he is down. Um, so we're already up to 10k down, uh, 10k damage, and we've knocked out their first ED. We're not too fussed about the damage here, it's just important that we got the DD off the table, because DDs do, in fact, win games. Um, I'm not sure how much the Bliska would, would have been able to do here, but I've done well at top, you know, at bottom tier in a Bliska before, so I'm not going to discount the fact that, oh, it's only tier 7. Like, you know, that's usually a bad idea. <laughs> so... We fired off a few uh, salvos at this synop. We did set him on fire, and he did repair. So, uh, what we should probably do is show him why you don't repair a single fire in front of a Seattle. As squishy as the Seattle is, it's, I guess, a bit of a glass cannon kind of scenario. Um, so, of course, that, that one does fall a bit short. That salvo does fall a bit short. Uh, we're not really going to get any shots at the Fantastique. We're just too far away, and that thing is just too fast, really, for us to be able to do that. Um, the Synop does knock out one of our guns temporarily, but this this doesn't work out to be too much of a problem. I mean, it's near enough five seconds away, and it'll be back up. Um, so that's fine. So, I th so at this point I decide, right, we're going to push into the middle a little bit, because they all seem to be focused and, like, clumped up in this area. 
So we think, right, okay, well, we're just going to go straight for it. And we're going to push in a bit, you know, live a little and all. Um, although usually my we're just going to push in a little bit parts kind of tend to end in not living a little bit for very long. So, you know, there's that. Um, but we take a pot shot at the Friedrich the Great. Or Freddy, or, you know, however else you want to call him. Um, now, the North Cal does spot us, because we weren't in range for the Freddy, but we were within line of sight and then spotting range of the North Cal, and he chunks us pretty hard there. That hurt. You know, we're going to be feeling that one for a long time. <laughs> that one's not just going to buff out. <laughs> um, but with it, we, we don't let that dissuade us. Uh, we keep some. We keep our shots up at the uh, the Friedrich, and now we're pushed in towards the middle, and we're being radared. Well, what are we being radared by? Oh, it looks an awful lot like it's a Chapayev, which has no armor. So, first salvo out, second salvo out, before the first one even hits the ground, chunk him for 5k, and there we have it. He is now the dead. To the bottom you go, sir. Um, and so we're already up to like 50 something k damage, and we're ticking. So, you know, we, we've set something on fire and it stayed on fire, and now the Akatsuki gets spotted. And he made a big mistake here. First off, by being spotted. But second off, he smoked up in front of his Seattle? <laughs> like, what What were they expecting? Were they expecting this to, to just not get radar immediately? I mean, granted, the Seattle doesn't have a particularly long radar range. But they were, they were well within that radar range, so... What they were expecting, I don't know, but they, uh, they, they, I'm sure things didn't work out the way they were expecting to, as usual, to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, so, with that said then, we will start ch throwing some shells at the Friedrich. Um, the Freddy's secondaries are doing a number on us though like jesus christ this this is this hurts um <clears throat> so we're still throwing shells out though we're not really doing a lot of damage as such realistically we're just getting like hits uh, superstructure hits and that's where the majority of our damage here is coming from um so yeah there's that so we're not really doing a lot of damage we're shattering quite a lot we look at the Fantastique, thinking, hmm, should we shoot at him? Realistically speaking, we're not going to hit him, so we put some sh more shots off towards the Freddy, but he's he's going to die here. There's not really any way to survive that. Um, so we zoom out of it, because um, it does make hitting these really fast boats easier if you do zoom out a bit, but he turns. Um, so, you know, no dice. Uh, so we put out another salvo in the hopes that maybe we can catch him kind of like longitudinally a long longitude and uh, something like that you you get the idea i'm sure um so one more salvo out and then we put a bit more towards the um the iowa that's just uh, off to our side um, and i mean there's not really any way that he's going to survive this. Like, this this Aya was 100% dead. There's, n there's no two ways about it. That's just how that's going to work. Um, so we put out some pot shots and we decide, oh yeah, we can kite. And then we realise that, oh no, we can't kite because we don't have the range to kite. So we decide to, like, you know, not do that. Um, and we turn back in, and, I mean, realistically, he's not looking at us anyways, so there's, there's not a great deal of point in kiting. I mean, at this point, it, this is just a damage farm for us, to be fair. Um, so we get some more shots out. Um, 
We're not doing a very good job of hitting him, though. And a ship as big as the Iowa, that probably says quite a lot about my own. But I'm not particularly used to this ship, so, you know, keep keep that in, in mind. Um, with that said, though, um, with that said... As mentioned, the Iowa is like 100% going to die here. He's not going to survive this. Um, and as such, there he goes. He dies, like now. Um, the Bismarck gets him to fire. And realistically speaking, at this point, there's not much chance of us even being able to lose this game. Like, even if my team decided to go full-on throw mode, nice work. we'd probably still win, in fairness. Just purely out of the basis that we've got that much of a points lead and that much of a ship's lead. Even if we decided to throw, we'd probably still win, just purely on that basis. Now, not to say that it'd be impossible for us to lose here, um, it's just not likely. Um, I love this Kagero in chat. What is our team doing? It's like, I mean, well, we're winning, aren't we? Does it matter? <laughs> <coughs> Too many people followed me. Yeah. The Bismarck does make some sense here, but realistically, he shouldn't really have been, like, going out of his way to kill an Iowa. Um, and... To be fair, if it, if he'd been by himself, unless the Iowa was proper fucking potato, chances are he wouldn't have won that battle anyway. So, you know. Now, uh, so the North Cal is about to die, like so. Um, and we have this Duke of York all to ourselves. Um, and we very nearly fuck this up, actually. Like, genuinely, we, we nearly mess this up like that. <laughs> um, we're up to, a, like, 104k damage at this point. Uh, I think at this point, I'm already, like, at my damage record. Now, this hurts. That hurt. A lot. Um, and that's not even, like, the worst he could have done. He could have done a lot worse than that. Um... I think at this point, this guy's actually suffering from the aiming bug. Um, because a lot of these shots at this point moving forward seem to be unaimed, like in terms of the dispersion. Um, and there goes the Confederate. Uh, I do kind of wish I was running Halsey on this uh, ship. But if you look at this, like that's that's a very big like dispersion pattern. That looks kind of like it was um, like an unaimed shot. So there's that. Um, so next up, um, he's about to get chunked, which I'm somewhat glad about because it means I don't have to deal with him. But I do kind of wish I could have farmed some more damage on him because now the only damage left is that rune. There's not a lot of chance of me getting that. So the end result here is going to be 128,249 damage. I'm not going to complain. This is not a complaint. <laughs> um, this was a good, this was a good game. I do wish I could have done more damage, but I'm not gonna like complain at the amount of damage that I did do. Um, so you know, all things considered, was a good game. Very enjoyable. Very fun. Um, and of all people, it's going to be. A surprise as to who actually kills this rune but it's not going to be the ones that you'd expect it to be you know there's the Sharnhorst uh and the Gneiss now and the Bismarck that are close oh no 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 it's not going to be those but I'm not going to tell you who it is um he gets chunked I'm actually not sure who he was chunked by there it might have been the Gneiss now um but as you will see in a moment, there are going to be some shells coming across the screen. Um, and it's these shells that are going to do the damage. Uh, and it was the Ismo, as clearly seen. So here's the end battle, you know, the post-battle results. We got a uh, Confederate, Dreadnought, 
128,249 damage, 279 shell hits, 1 incapacitation, 1 destroyed, 10 fires, 1 capture, 1 assisted, 3 spotted. Uh, we will move on to the team score. Of course, I end up at the top for this game. Uh, where did that Ismo end up anyways? Yeah, he ended up here. He was okay. He he was reasonable. He was alright. Um, and as a little bonus one for you lot, you know, oh yeah, you know, bonus bits are always good, usually. Um, here are some of my stats for this ship. I would, I'm quite enjoying this ship so far. I've not played that many games in her, to be fair. Um, but like, my averages are decent, and of course that game was my damage record. Um, where are we, Seattle? Yeah, so I mean, so far 100% win rate, but we've only played six games, so this is definitely going to go down, unless I'll just, like, free xp it, just left it like this, but I'm not going to do that, because I'm poor. But, like, I'm pretty pleased with this ship so far, and also ignore all of the red, like, this is mostly just ships that I've just not really played very much, or just generally not done much with or much good with for that matter um i think it's because i have it sorted by g amount of games played yeah i have it sorted by amount and of course you <laughs> yeah, it with 996 that's not very uh not very good um let's go back to here it was six was it yeah there we go so all things considered i'm pretty pleased with this ship i'm quite enjoying it um, so, on the subject of enjoying it, I do hope that you've enjoyed watching this game. Um, and with that said, I will see you all again in the next one. Uh, do take care, everyone, and have yourself a wonderful, you know, morning, evening, night, whatever. And you, Well, in my case, it would be morning, because it's, like, f six in the morning near enough. <laughs> <coughs> but... I do hope that you uh, you have yourself a nice, you know, morning, evening, night, day afternoon mid-evening you know whatever whatever time or like time of day it happens to be there make sure it's a good one and that's i'm not asking nicely i'm telling you you should be having a good day <laughs> um with that said i'm going to be focusing on getting better uh the next few days i think um i probably won't be live today probably tomorrow i need to fix my sleeping pattern to be fair so i'm staying up all today and going to bed at a reasonable time tonight so we'll see how we get on but with that said i will see you all again next time um i do hope that you have enjoyed watching this if you have give it a thumbs up or something if not give it a thumbs down if you haven't enjoyed it for whatever reason as I've mentioned, give it the thumbs down, but tell me why you didn't enjoy it. Because if it's something I can work on fixing, I will, you know, work to fix that. Um, unless it's you don't like my voice, because I can't do much to change that. And I wouldn't blame you for not liking my voice, to be fair, because sometimes I don't like it either. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you all again next time. Uh, take care, everyone. Have yourselves, you know, a nice morning, evening, night, you know, as mentioned. Um... And I'll catch you all again next time. Um, if you... Oh, yeah. I forgot my usuals. If you would like to see more of this kind of content, um, like more frequently, but also all of it, and not just like the cherry-picked good games, you can find me on the Twitch. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, if you would like to just see more content on the YouTube channel, do let me know if there is any particular ship you want to see play it. I will, I'm will. i more than happy to play it uh, for you guys. And if you don't know what ships I have, if you don't know what ships I've got and all of this and that, go go on to my, um, my WoW stats page, right? My stats are public and so on. So, you know, you can literally look and see every single ship I've played. If you want to see anything that's on that list played... Um, other than, I think, Conqueror and Harugumo, you can see any of them played. Just let me know in the comments, and I will, um, 
I will uh, have. I will certainly have a look into it for you. Um, but with that said, I will love you and leave you, and I will see you all again next time. Do take care, everyone. Have yourself a nice, you know, morning, evening, night, whatever. And I will see you next time. Do take care. Bye-bye. For now.